Um, before we move on to another topic, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the movies. Um, we, of course, haven't touched on that at all. Um, the only one I did see, admittedly, was Argo, and we just kind of actually were looking for something to watch on Friday night and went on Shaw Video on Demand and uh, watched Argo, and I really enjoyed it, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I understand, as I'm sure everybody's heard now, that the Canadian role in the actual story was very much downplayed in the movie, um, although people are, you know, thank you for thanking in Canada, Ben Affleck, because we're very particular yeah. about these things in Canada, and we're all very hurt that we were left out. Um, but did you guys watch the Oscar movies other than that? Yes, Argo, and actually, on a neat sidebar, I interviewed uh, Ken Taylor. He actually was here in Winnipeg for no a stint. He's an ambassador to the U.S., and uh, yeah, it was very, it was so neat to talk to him, and we talked a lot about the whole experience there. And yes, he actually, the, he was quoted as saying that uh, he was happy that Ben did say something in his acceptance speech, well, because were, he said the movie was clearly There was a little bit of a, I guess initially um, they had asked, for, I, I, I don't know, maybe a blessing uh, from him and some others that were actually involved in the story. And then at the end, uh, if you did watch the movie, there's footnotes at the end that sort of explain sort of where some people ended up and clarified some of the stuff that maybe was changed because of Hollywood movie making or just wasn't maybe clear or whatever. There's mm -hmm. some neat stuff at the end. And... Um, I guess one of the original footnotes he Ken Taylor was very upset about and he had them change it and then I guess he kind of gave his blessing and then after the movie came out right before the Oscars he said he was upset and then Ben Affleck was quoted as saying well I thought he was fine with it and now he's upset like we you know I thought we talked about this so there's still some controversy yeah. brewing it's interesting so weird. Sorry. sorry it's so weird that Hollywood would uh, make a historical movie slightly inaccurate you know Odd. they never oh, do that really? yeah. that's where I learned all my history is from Hollywood movies <laughs> <laughs> but as Canadians, we're so hurt by these things. Right? Yeah. Canada wasn't given its fair due. Ah. Uh, history, though, I saw Lincoln. And nice. it was uh, really, it was beautifully shot. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, Steven Spielberg is the master. What was funny, though, is Daniel Day-Lewis, I know, is very, very short. And Abe Lincoln, of course, was yeah. tall like Daniel. Like, right. yeah. And Sally Field is short, too. Yeah. So shooting this, uh, this one scene where she's talking to Abe, and he's towering over her, and I'm going there, okay, how does this work? Well, she had this big hoop dress on, so. Still of sort, some sort. And they showed him, so he was standing on the ground. So he like she, she was in like a trench? She was in a, tr I oh, think that they geez. actually had her in a trench, because you on can tell, or on her knees, yeah, one of the sure two. he wasn't on a unicycle? Because <laughs> <laughs> that could work. big lifts and yeah. shoes. Yeah, okay. I mean, just detail like that, and. Uh, but yeah, it I found really that movie was. intriguing. Like, I, I felt it, I felt it, it was quite slow. Oh, it, yes. And I did have trouble um, following some of the dialogue because yeah. of the strong accents. And, and I and admittedly don't know a lot of American history, so I was a little bit lost mm -hmm. at times, but um, but I thought the acting was absolutely incredible. Yeah. And um, what's his name, the guy who played, um, who ended up coming over at the end and doing the big speech? Um, Tommy Lee Jones. Yes. yes. Yeah, like he was incredible. In that oh, what about well. that scene where he comes home? And you know, the, we think it's a end? housekeeper. Yeah. Oh, the, I know. And he well, and then he I takes off his wig, bit. and then they're in bed together. Interestingly, so cool. um, Daniel Day Lewis turned down that role at first. He was offered it, turned it down, didn't want it. They had offered it to I can't remember who it was to somebody else. John Travolta. Uh, who oh Lord, no, 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 no. his just explodes. It's <laughs> over. And the, Times and then uh, oh. that person dropped yeah. out. Why can't I think of who it was? Liam Neeson, maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, and then mm -hmm. Daniel Day Lewis did accept it, which is you know just funny how you hear. There's often stories like that that are attached to these really so big movies good. and people's Oscars. That would you know. change the movie so much. Right? Yeah, yeah, but also just that they they win an Oscar for a movie role that they almost didn't take or that was mm -hmm. you know somebody else at the very last second couldn't do or whatever. It's kind of it's neat how that often yeah. happens. Mm -hmm. um, I saw Les Mis in theater with my sister and I went in unaware that the entire movie is sung and I don't watch I didn't I don't watch musicals. I thought they would break into song and dance. And I, I, honestly I like that stupid John Travolta <laughs> saying Les Miserables. Yeah. I know. Oh, I know that was awful. Oh like you, yeah you got one Why thing to you say that I used to love John Travolta like I <laughs> loved now I can't even like I see his face and I'm like ah. <laughs> Why are you such a disappointment? 
<laughs> but world. I think if you're going to talk about like Argo was a good movie. It was a great, you know, well paced. There was lots of drama and suspense. Even though I knew how it ended, I was still nervous. Like it was so well done. But watching Les Mis, which I didn't even love, but I can appreciate the movie making and the, just it was spectacular. I mean, it was gorgeous mm -hmm. and the way it was shot, you know, and to, for those actors to sing an entire movie, um, it was it was amazing. And that's and they sang live, right? I don't like it wasn't know. studio shot. Right. They actually yeah. sang oh, live okay. on yeah. set. Oh, see there you go. That's it one more. Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's never happened. But I, I mean I know that the movies that win it's all about politics and lobbying and whatever and and it was a great story about the American CIA, you know, well, rescuing American also, heroes and It was also a movie about how Hollywood saved the day. Yes, it's right. right. That's like, Hollywood saved okay, the day. Okay, Hollywood, which movie wins? This other movie or the movie where Hollywood is the hero? <laughs> we love uh, Hollywood. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah. Yeah, no, fair enough. I just thought I, I mean, but who cares, right? What does it matter? Which no, it one was the, the best one? It doesn't matter. That's the whole point. That's so why silly. I don't like the Oscars. It's all, it like awards for art. C making art a competition is ridiculous. I think it should be more cooperative, and you should just go out and find out what you like for yourself instead of letting other people tell you. Well, yes, yeah, like that's true. Live in Hollywood. Mm. <laughs> I know. That's why I live in Winnipeg. <laughs> Although, if you compare actresses, like Anne Hathaway is in a different league than Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. And I don't know how they're both up on that stage. Like Anna Hathaway, to me, is, is spectacular. Mm -hmm. She will be an actress forever. She can play so many different roles. She's dynamic. And then you bring in this girl who can show you to bow and arrow. Yeah. yeah. Hunger, Hunger Games, that's all yeah. I kind of attach it's to like, something. And it's yeah. the same as Daniel Radcliffe. You know what? Is he a great actor? No. no. Was he Harry Great. Potter? Yes. Does he ever have to work again? <laughs> no. And so, he's weird. He is weird. He is weird. He, like, he grows like a little little five o'clock shadow on purpose, like to make sure everyone knows he's a man now. It's oh. like, every time we see him, he's like he's not shaven, you know, because he would look too much like Harry Potter. I was doing. Can I just say, I was doing a little pre-research um, and I research pre-search. Yeah. And I googled Mila Kunis because I, I you like her. I love her. Mm -hmm. She was she dated Macaulay Culkin for years. Yeah. yeah. Macaulay Culkin's yeah. awesome. Do you ever see Saved? No. See that movie and then tell me Macaulay Culkin's not awesome. Isn't he? He's weird and strung no, out and he's a I think he's spectacular. Really? He's a great actor. He's really cool. Because she is like, to me, she's just the epitome of gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's got a great body. She seems really sweet. Everything I've ever seen her, any interview I've seen her in, she seems like we could be friends. Like, she seems cool. Yeah, I like her. Friends <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah. FYI, can someone get Kim her phone number? That's right. <laughs> Text right. me. But, and then I said that she was with Macaulay Culkin and I, I heard one of our camera guys off camera just say, how did you not know that. I don't know. I don't follow this stuff. So, but anyway, I, that shocked me. I just thought that's that doesn't make any sense. But isn't she now with Ashton Kutcher? I think so. Yes. 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 So, <laughs> moving on up. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yes. Uh, Life of Pi. Did anyone see that? No. no. I read the book. Yeah, it was awesome. I read the book too. Did you like the book or no? Ah, uh, meh. You didn't. Eh? I was hmm. I was so so on it. Yeah. I it, it. I, lo I loved it. And uh, yeah, I read it when I was in uh, you know traveling. It's yeah. One of those books that if you read it when you're when you're traveling, you have this like some pseudo spiritual experience. For sure, yeah, thing. yeah. I really liked it, and I thought they did a great, great job with the well, movie. Well, that was, was Ang uh, Lee, right? Yeah. But yeah, and he does yeah. such fantasy kind and of. And he won thing. for his for something. Well, one for cinematography and for <laughs> music, well, you know. soundtrack, or something <laughs> like that. Music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you should just ask Daniel. Just yeah. Yeah, to Daniel just on everything. Yeah. No. So, what did you think of Adele? Skyfall. I actually didn't know she wrote it until that night when we Google this. We're sitting there with the iPad and I'm like, did she just sing this? Because it yeah. seems like her music. It sounds like her stuff, but all she does is say the same word over and over again, <laughs> um, which I, is a little weak. Yeah. Um, but to know that she actually wrote it, I appreciated more, but the performance was mediocre. But I also appreciated that she stayed in the same dress all night. Yes. She did, that's true. The same outfit, and in every shot, it looked a little bit different. It might have been oh. tough to get her out of that frock. Oh, that's true. right. <laughs> you know how many layers of Spanx she must have had on? Oh. oh, maybe that's why she couldn't sing so well. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> yeah, couldn't breathe. No, couldn't, couldn't breathe. breathe. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we need to take a quick break. We'll be right back.